You know we have a lot of fun with voice cloning and conversion on this channel because it's part of the creative AI space. And part of that world is text-to-speech. Realistic, natural-sounding, conversational text-to-speech. And we have services out there like Eleven Labs, which excel at it, and there are more and more of these services coming out. And one of the questions I get the most on this channel when I post videos about this was how can I use my voice in text-to-speech? And I've shared an example or two of how you can do that, but today I've got another one and I know you're gonna have a ton of fun playing with it. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI and today I'm going to show you something called Chat TTS. And the good news is you can run it on Mimic PC and not have to install anything. As you may recall, Mimic PC is a regular sponsor of our broadcast and it allows you to run high-end AI applications on another computer computer so that you don't have to buy a GPU, you don't have to set anything up or understand anything about configuration really. You just start a machine remotely and you can start as many machines as you like. One of the greatest advantages of Mimic PC is that there are so many of these AI applications coming out and many of them are very resource intensive. Some of them can take hours to download all the required models just to get them run and then you run them and you realize, I don't want to do this. This doesn't trip my trigger like I thought it would. That's a lot of time and resources wasted. Whereas with Mimic PC, you can log right in and choose from any of these current, really popular AI apps and set up virtual machines that you can run for literally pennies. Chat TTS is just one of these applications. So if we want to run it, we simply click it and we click on Get Started. Then we're going to choose what kind of machine we want to install this on. I've become a real big fan of using the Large Pro. It's $1.19 per hour, and the speed you get with generations is so far worth it. In some of the applications I've tested, I get double the processing speed for just about everything I do from the Large, and it's only $0.20 cents more. So I'd highly recommend not overthinking this. Go for the Large Pro if you're serious about generating in an efficient way. I'm going to click on Large Pro, and the other thing I highly recommend whenever you set up a machine on Mimic PC is to click the Automatic Extension. That way, if you're running a process and you walk away because it takes a while, your machine won't stop on you and then you have to start over or join it in the middle or whatever. It's easy enough just to set an automatic extension and it will just add 30 minutes every time it runs to it. Of course, you can stop it at any time, but I always try to remember to do that. Then I click on create and start and then it takes about two, two and a half minutes to set up this machine. And I'll reiterate, you are not charged for any of this setup time. Here's our interface. We're going to have so much fun with this. I can't tell you how much time I spent yesterday playing with this. First of all, let's move this out of the way. We don't need that on the screen anymore because we're not dealing with any of that stuff. All right, so don't let this intimidate you. It's actually pretty simple and there's just a few things you're going to play with. Right out of the box, this thing is ready to go with seemingly an infinite amount of different voices that can be used with your script. One of the things that is cool about this is that it will take your text and if you want it to, it will actually refine it and put in certain effects that it deems appropriate for what you've written. It might change the words, it might add breaks, it might add laughter, or you can turn that off and it can say exactly what you want it to type. So let me just show you, if we do nothing else, we just load the program, it comes with this, what is your favorite English food? And I don't type anything else and I just click on generate, let's see what we get. What is your favorite English food? Okay, it actually cut off food there. Let's give it something that's way more interesting. If you subscribe now, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you. And I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. Let's also change up the voice a little. There's several ways you can do that. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to use your own voice in here with just a 10 second audio sample. But first, let's look at this stuff. Under timber, we have nine different choices. Let's see what happens if I click timber number six. You'll see that the audio seed changes. Let's just click on generate. And let's look at the text here. You'll see that we have refined text here. And what its output is, if you subscribe now, and then it's inserted UV break, still haven't found out what UV stands for. I will not follow you, UV break. I will not pursue you, UV break. But if you do not break, I will follow you break. So it's putting in logical breaks based on what I'm saying. And that seems completely appropriate. So let's listen to this. If you subscribe now, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you and I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. Awesome. This button right here allows you to randomize these values. So let's do that real quick. And now click on generate again. So far it hasn't changed any of the actual words, just put in those breaks. Let's listen. If you subscribe now, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you. 
and I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. That's pretty nice. That's really nice and conversational. So what is this audio temperature? Now, you heard what that sounded like. I'm going to crank this all the way up to one, and now let's generate again and see how the audio sounds different. If you subscribe now, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you. And I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. So there's a little more emotional fluctuation going on there. Let's turn it all the way down, or at least really low, and click on generate. If you subscribe now, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you. And I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. So way more subdued and just not as modulated. We can just keep choosing different timbers, randomizing the audio seed and getting different results. I'm going to put the audio temperature back in the middle just for fun. Let's see if we can force a laugh right here. In brackets, I'm going to write laugh and generate again. If you subscribe now, <laughs> I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not... She just kind of gave up. <sighs> Let's randomize that seed again and generate. Let's randomize the text seed a little bit and see what happens. We can click generate again, and I'll do another voice too. I wasn't real thrilled with that voice. And next, we're going to do custom voices. If you subscribe now, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you. And I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. Okay, I know it didn't laugh, but I just wanted to hear that voice. It was kind of interesting. All right, what if you want that voice to be yours or someone else's? What do you do? Do you have to go through hours of voice training with RVC or something like that and download the models and configure things? No, no, you don't. Well, surely you must have 30, 60 minutes of audio that you need sampled. It's got to be high. No, 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 relax. Will you just relax and let me just tell you how this works? Okay, all you need, in fact, all that this will accept is about 10 seconds of audio dropped right here. If you put much more than that, you're gonna get an error. So resist the urge to overtrain this thing and all you need is 10 seconds. So let's find a 10 second clip of some audio and I'll show you how it works. So here is a 10 second sample of Tracy. Putting the program together, marketing, um, and then partnership management was kind of on my- I'm gonna take that WAV file and I'm just gonna drop it right here. You'll hear it's in here. Putting the program together, now, for this to work, however, we also need to give it sample text. In other words, a transcript of what's being said here. You can transcribe this audio however you'd like. It's only 10 seconds, so it really isn't that much to do. But I like to use Otter. It's a transcription service. Any transcription service will do. Here is the text that we had in that 10-second clip. I'm just going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it right here in the sample text. I'll leave this exactly how it is. When you have an audio sample loaded and text in the sample text here, it ignores this preset here. So you don't have to worry about this doing anything. Let's click on generate. If you subscribe now, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you. And I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. Let's play with the audio temperature. I'll take it down and see what that does. The essence of her voice is there. I just want a little bit more emotional expression and maybe the speed modulated a little bit. If you subscribe now, uh, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you. And I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. So I definitely subdued her a little bit by turning down the audio temperature. Let's pop it up here, closer to the top. If you subscribe now, I will not follow you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will follow you. I will find you. And I will give you the biggest bear hug you ever had. And that's true. She will. So with 10 seconds of audio, it absolutely captured the essence of her voice. Now it's just a matter of settings and running a few generations, just like most AI stuff. Let's have her say something else. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel. Don't you think? I mean, sure. There are other things to talk about out there, but come on. Before we even run this, let's take a look at what it did to the text. It, it changed it. It says, I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel probably should be the only YouTube channel. Don't you think? I mean, and then it changed it to, sure, exactly, absolutely. There are other things to talk about out there, but break, come on. So that kind of jacked it around a little. Let's see what it sounds like that way. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel probably should probably be the only YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> think, I mean, sure, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. There are other things to talk about out there, but come on. Okay, that's kind of weird. That, oh, of course, I had the audio temperature way up there. Let's bring the audio temperature back down to normal. And just for fun, let's change the text seed and click on generate. You'll notice that it did change this again. Sure, really, really. So I'm probably going to turn the refined text off. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel, don't you think? I mean, sure, really, really. There are other things to talk about out there, but just come on. 
Okay, let's turn off refine text and this way it will say exactly what I typed. I'll turn up the audio temperature to maybe here. Since we're not letting it refine the text, why don't we just go ahead and try to put another laugh in here. I think the Bob Dole Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> we think I'm mean, sure there are other things that I got out there, but come on. Let's see if we can make her scream. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel here in Scream. So what do you think I mean? Okay, Scream didn't work. I wasn't able to find a list of all the things you could do, but I will say that there is documentation here in the GitHub repo. You're just going to click on that link up at the top, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see if you click here where it says Awesome Chat TTS. Even though the interface isn't exactly the same, as you can see, you'll learn more about what these text controls do and what everything means, so you'll know how to experiment with more intelligence. So I do want to see if it'll make her cry. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel. We have to take that crowd to do you think, I mean. Sure. There are other things to talk about. Okay, that's weird. It's almost like it's putting some dialogue in there. Let's do another voice. I've used my friend Rob's voice on this channel several times because he's a good sport too. He sounds like this. And, and speaking of online things, my sister told me today because you, well, actually, you know, you get your glass. So, so once again, I brought that audio file into Otter, got the transcript, come over here, upload that audio file to chat TTS, paste in that text and generate. I should have taken that cry instruction. Oh, though. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel. Hmm, it seems to have cut off there. Let's take out this cry. Let's randomize the text seed one more time. We'll take the audio temperature down to about the middle. We can play with this top P and top K control. The P controls emotional relevance and the K controls emotional similarity. Do I know exactly what that means? Nah, but we'll play with it anyway because it's not gonna break anything. I'll put top P up, I'll put top K down, I'll click generate. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel, don't you think? I mean, sure. And there are other things to talk about out there, but come on. Yeah, okay, I don't like the impact that those changes made on the emotional expression. I'm gonna put these guys back down to where they were-ish, pop up the audio temperature, and why not just refine text just for fun? I just wanna see what it'll do. Click on generate. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel, don't you think? I mean, and then now they put in pretty sure and then a break and then uh-huh, almost like someone else is responding. And when we listened to that last clip, you might have heard it was almost like another voice was trying to pop in. Let's just see what we got here. I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel, don't you think? I mean, pretty sure. Uh, uh, there are other things to talk about out there, but come on. No, no, I want more, more emotion. Crank that audio temperature up. I think the Bob Doyle Media uh, YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel. Don't you think? I mean, pretty sure. Uh, uh, there are other things to talk about out there, but come on. I'm going to move up the top P value. I'm going to leave the top K where it is. And no, I don't know why. I'm just doing it, okay? I think the Bob Doyle Media YouTube channel should probably be the only YouTube channel, don't you think? I mean, sure, there are other things to talk about out there, but come on. So in that case, everything's just kind of run together. But let's be real. This is source material, just like a lot of AI tools. They create source material. An AI-generated video may be 80% usable and 20% not. Well, that's what editing's for. You don't throw out the whole thing just because 20% of it isn't perfect. You regenerate. It's just like if you're filming an action movie or if you're doing a voiceover in a booth. You do multiple takes and you take the best of each. So perhaps there was a part of that read that sounded really good, but I didn't like the emotion of the second part of the sentence. So I just rerun it. I don't go, oh, this tool doesn't work. No, it's like you're giving the voice actor direction. Hey, could you try it this way? Could you try it this way? And while we can't exactly give it that kind of direction, it costs us very little to rerun these generations and get the bits and pieces we like. Now, if you're not a patient producer, then AI tools in general probably aren't for you because you're going to want everything to happen instantly. Well, for the rest of us who are used to working in a regular production environment where editing and creativity and making creative choices are part of your day, then you can see the value of something like this. You're creating voices out of nowhere that have a very conversational tone, and you can actually use familiar voices and it sounds like them without the necessity for hours of any kind of audio or voice cloning training. So it's a really fun tool and it can be actually very useful for you depending on what your creative job is and what kind of assets you need. And the ability to run this on a remote computer without having to worry about installation and all of that stuff is a huge boom because you can just use it for the amount of time you need it. You could pop on, generate something, download it, be done with it, stop the machine. You've spent pennies and you haven't used any of your own computer resources to do it. Super helpful. If these are the types of tools you like to learn more about, we'll just keep it right here and subscribe because these are the types of things we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, 
I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...